Billy, welcome back. How are you? I am fantastic. How are you? You know, I'm hanging in there. I want to start by congratulating you. You were nominated again uh, for Pose, a uh, category you won last year. We were talking a little bit before this started. It's a little different. You come from Broadway. You only get nominated once for a role. Yeah, you only win once for a role that you create on Broadway. So it's a really interesting journey. Um, I'm very grateful to be nominated again. I'm very grateful to, for, to be on Pose, a show that is transformative. Um, you know, uh, a, a, a show that truly is where art meets activism for me, which is a big deal for me and, and my work. So I'm thrilled. Thank you. <laughs> We're obviously it's going to be a bit of a different ceremony this year as circumstances, uh, you know, dictate. And I think one of the things I'll miss the most, and I don't think I'm alone, is Billy Porter on the red carpet. Um, <laughs> I hope, now again, I do appreciate the glasses that you've brought to this, which makes me think that even if we have a Zoom Emmys, you will probably bring some uh, sort of effort to your Some, work. some joie de vivre. You know, I'm giving you <laughs> half-tan realness right now in the it. house. <laughs> it's a summer look. It's fabulous and freeing. <laughs> now, uh, uh, one of our writers, Amber Ruffin, actually got your actual hat with the remote control veil. And it was the real hat. And it was an ordeal to get the hat. The hat does not travel alone. The hat travels It does not travel someone. alone. Yes, it <laughs> travels with Sarah Sokol, who is, is the designer of the hat. And the hat is heavy. And how did you, uh, what gave you the inspiration for the hat? Um, we had been... Uh, at another award show where Billie Eilish was in front of me and she was wearing this veil over her Gucci situation. And I said, oh, that's cute, that's fun, but I would never cover my face because I've spent too long getting people to see my face. Um, yeah. <laughs> and my stylist at the time, Sam Rattel, said, well, what if we could open and close it? Would you be interested? And that's how it came about, and that's why we did it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, your, uh, your show, Pose, uh, sadly, was one of the many shows that had to halt production uh, due to the coronavirus. Uh, yeah. You were actually slated to direct an episode this yes. year. Was that something you were excited about? Yeah, I'm totally, you know, I am, as I say, very often trying to be the head bitch in charge. Um, <laughs> so that means I am writing a lot. I have been directing a lot in the theater. I've been writing in the theater, so I'm trying to, to move that over into uh, my film and television, you know, starting my new company, you know, and trying to be the change that I want to see and be able to green light my own projects and be able to say yes to myself and be able to support the stories and give voice to the voiceless um, in ways that only happen um, when you have that kind of power. So I'm very, very excited about you know, enlarging my territory, as it were. Another way uh, that you're trying to uh, help out is uh, your campaign, Be a Hero. Um, can you speak a little to that? Yeah, Be an Arts Hero is um, essentially a grassroots campaign to get the U.S. Senate to pass an emergency arts relief act by the end of this week, by August 1st. You know, so many people don't understand that it's the second largest economic driver in the nation. 877 billion in value added to the economy, 4.5 the GDP. You know, we're talking the we're talking the financiers language now. You know, it's like the the, the economy um, on, on in New York. Broadway sold more tickets than all of the New York and New Jersey sports teams put together. That's 1.8 billion and ticket sales. Um, and right now during COVID, you know, 94% of the arts workers have lost income. 64% have been fully unemployed um, due to COVID. Um, you know, and we are just reaching out and calling to the Senate to um, really get this relief package. Uh, specifically for arts workers uh, with health insurance. You know, it's, it's about the economy. It's about, you know, 40% of um, the NEA grants serve low income people of color and LGBTQ people uh, 
and veterans and disabled communities. Like there's so much funding that is necessary in this crisis in particular. Um, I do so, think too, and maybe you can speak to this because obviously Broadway is very glamorous and I think people have this idea that everyone who works on Broadway is making a fortune because you know they read how much Hamilton tickets are, but most people uh, even on such an iconic strip of land as Broadway are just barely making ends meet. And sometimes yeah. I think at times like this, we talk about things like, you know, firemen and teachers, and we forget that, you know, people in the arts also have families and they also are trying to put food on the table. Yeah, and we're working class, especially on Broadway. You know, we live hand to mouth. I did it for 30 years. Um, it is not, we're not rich. You know, we're two to five paychecks away from poverty, just like everybody else. And, uh, you know, this moment has illuminated that um, in really stark ways. And um, so we're calling, we're calling on the people, we're calling on our senators. Um, you know, we have an open letter to our senators to explore, um, how to make sure this relief package is put through and that our people are taken care of. And I know this is a completely volunteer run your organization. Where can people yes. go if they want to sign up and lend a helping hand here? Yes, um, you can sign up at, you can visit beanartshero.com. Um, that's the best way to get to us, beanartshero.com. And that will take you to different levels and layers of how you can help. Well, obviously I'm a little biased, but I do believe the arts does a great amount to enrich all of our lives. And you in particular have certainly uh, enriched ours. And congrats again. It is just You're always such a sweet. pleasure to talk to Thank you. Thank you. It's <laughs> wonderful to be back. And I can't wait to see you in person. Same to you.